Hello everyone. Today I'm going to talk about small and large bar attraction. First of all, I would like to review some bar anatomy, the definition of the disease, cause, signs and symptoms, complication, diagnosis, treatment and prevention, and prognosis. So this same mouse, so the location of the large hand bone and the part of this. So small bowel is the GI tract where connect from the stomach to the large bowel. It divided into the duodenum portion, duodenum, ileum, and continue into the colon where we call sickum and then ascending colon and then transfer and then descending sigmoid and rectum at the end is anus. So what is small bowel? The small intestine consists of three parts of the duodenum, jejunum, and ileum. Partly digested food passes from the stomach to the small intestine, where the final digestive process occurs. Nutrition, vitamin, mineral, and water are absorbed by its lung. One end of the small bowel is connected to the stomach and the other connected to the large intestine. Small bowel absorption is a partial or a complete blockage of content from passing through small intestine. It could also interfere with the absorption of the nutrient and fluid. Cause. Maybe because of it hasn't due to pain, hernias or palm novels, inflammatory disease like inflammation, Metri bowel disorders such as Crohn's disease, diverticulitis can result in sick, sure, or fistula, or can become to the malignancy condition. So, the left image so about the adhesive adhesive band with the curve arrow indicate where the y arrow pointed to the dilated small bound before the where absorbed it is. In the right image, so the CT scan of the abdominal pelvis, so the anterior abdominal hernia, where the umbilicus is. What are the symptoms of small bowel obstruction? So patient can complain with abdominal cramp and pain, 
clothing, vomiting, nausea, dehydration, malaise, lack of appetite, severe constipation in case of complete obstruction, a person will not be able to pass to or gas. Complication of small bowel obstruction. A small bowel obstruction can lead to other issues such as substance use due to translocation of intestinal bacteria from the tissue breakdown, intraabdominal abscess, wound, dehiscent, aspiration, disability, and death. People who have had surgery for obstruction are also at risk of other complications, including abdominal infection again, bowel paralysis, nerve damage, short bowel syndrome, wound reoperating. So, how to diagnose small bowel obstruction? Of course, it depends on medical history, physical exam, and sometimes we can ask for some blood tests to see how the blood count is, electrolytes. We can do the imaging study on the X-ray where it is the First option for the radio intervention basics. We can ask for CT scan. We may be done to confirm a diagnosis and give more accurate information about the cause and the size of obstruction. How to treat? Of course, patient need to be hospitalized, which treatment include intravenous fluid, bowel rest with nothing to eat, and sometimes bowel decompress through nasal gastric soup. We can give antiemetic medication. May we need to relieve nausea and vomiting surgery if the small intestine is completely blocked or strangulated. How to prevention small bowel obstruction? Simple change to a patient diet lifestyle can help them digest food more easily and lower the impact of bowel obstruction. Exercising regularly and staying hydrated can also add to a regular digestive function. Diagnosis of small bowel obstruction. With proper diagnosis and treatment of Obstruction prognosis in small bowel obstruction is good. If untreated, strangulated obstruction causes death in 100% of patients. If surgery is performed within 36 hours, the mortality rate decreases to 8%. The mortality rate is 25 if surgery is postponed beyond 36 hour in this patient. Some factors associated with death and post-operative complications include age, comorbidity, and treatment delay. According to one, navigant group mobility and mortality from small bowel obstruction decreased from 1961 to 1995, the mobility was reported to be about 5%. What is the large bowel? The large bowel 
or large intestines is part of the digestive system. It includes the colon and rectum. The large intestine play a vital role in removing waste from the body. Liquid food waste from the small intestine go into the large intestine where it turns to solid. And we can pass this solid waste or stool when we poop. So what is large bar absorption? A large bar absorption is a um, blockage that keep gas or stool from passing through the body. The large bar absorption may block the bowel completely or partially. Large bar absorption account for about 20% of all intestinal blockage. Small bar absorption are more common. The cause. Malnutrition can cause the intestine to twist, we call ravelous. In children younger than three, a disorder called intersubsum. Up to half of adults who have colorectal cancer can cause to blockage. Abdominal infection, diverticulitis, anemia. Inflammatory bowel disease, IBD, radiation therapy to the abdomen or pelvis, twisted intestine, rare in adult. Symptoms and signs of large bowel absorption. Patient may have sharp stomach pain that come in well. Eventually, the pain becomes constant. Patient may also have one or more of these symptoms like abdominal pain, cramping or floating, diarrhea, inability to pass gas or poop because of constipation, loss of appetite, nausea and vomiting. Infants in and children experience the same symptom as adults. Infant can't tell doctor where it hurt, but they may pull their leg up toward their belly and cry. Other symptoms of bowel absorption in children include fever, blood in stool, or bleeding. When we do digital examination, we can find green or yellow green vomiting. Lethargy, swollen, and firm belly. So this in this table, so the difference between small bowel and large bowel. So if we talk about pain in small bowel absorption, it can so in the pattern of intermittent colicky. Improve with vomiting, but in large bar will be continuous. If we're talking about vomiting in small bar, will be frequent, large volume, and bilus. But in large bar session, vomiting become intermittent and frequent. If we're talking about tenderness to a patient. So small bowel absorption will be more focal, but large bowel will be more diffuse in a patient. Extension, small bowel will be less marked but large bar is very, very marked with obstipation. What are the complications of large bar absorption? A bar blockage can stop blood flow, causing part of the intestine to die. A pressure buildup from the blockage Intestinal bacteria can leak into the bloodstream. 
patient may develop peritonitis, which is at risk for a life-threatening system-wide infection called sepsis. Post-operation complications can be fine like short bowel syndrome, colostomy placement. How to diagnose large bowel absorption? Of course, it depends on the story, physical examination, digital examination, some blood tests, X-ray, CT, barrier management, X-ray, colonoscopy as needed. Colonoscopy as needed. So, the image on the right, it is the CT abdomen pelvis. So, the absorption where Y arrow indicate this absorption condition because of strictures can lead to diverticular disease. On the left, so the dilatation of big bowel or portion of it. throughout to the sigmoid push portion. So here is the image of colonoscopy where absorption because of gallstone in the sigmoid colon in the image A and B, we can see fragmented stone after electro hydraulic lithostepsy and the C, so ulceration caused by passing of the stone in sigmoid pole. So how to manage large bowel absorption? Can give IV fluid to replace the or to treat dehydration. We can give medication and like anti nausea medication or pain relief. We can decompress by nasal classic shoot. So we can use barium as the diagnosis and treatment. Then to find out if it is complete absorption, do surgery. So how to prevent large bar absorption? So unfortunately, there is no known way to prevent large bowel absorption. However, simple change to a patient diet and lifestyle can help them digest food more easily and lower impact of bowel absorption. Exercising regularly and staying hydrated can also add regular digestive function. Prognosis. Most people with large bowel absorption improve after treatment. If one absorption causes the rupture, the condition can be less threatening. Thank you.